cooking with Gaspar. And today I will do an Italian sausage with linguine, um, tomato, peppers, garlic, onion, and basil. Very simple dish. Well, let's start it. I put already my water on to boil. I put a the salt inside. The water, I put the linguine inside to cook. But I'm doing the rest. The linguine is in now. Okay. So here is the, we started now. We start to do the dish. Sausage. I'm starting to saute my sausage, a little olive oil, just a little bit. I didn't need too much olive oil because the sausage has enough fat. I put the sausage inside, Italian sausage, mild. So we saute it from both sides. While I'm sauteing the sausages, a little bit more to around it up on all sides. From the going at the rest of the ingredients, what we do. The sausage is already almost done from all sides. A little bit around it up. And I start to add the rest of the ingredients to the pan. First of all, I need to add onion, chopped onion, pepper, add pepper, all kind of pepper, whatever you have, but a little bit sauteed all together. Uh, the onion on the pepper sauteing, I want to make it nice al dente. So I want to put now my garlic in. Sliced garlic. Adding my tomato now, a lot of tomato. On the set of pain, a couple of minutes. It looks good, it smells good. Add my white wine. Put it back on the heat. You can cover it so we can cover it a little bit. The linguine is cooking. As you can see, as you can see, the sausage is cooked, tomato on the all the rest of the vegetables nicely um, sear it off, cook it. So what I do now, the next step is the last one. I add basil, a lot of basil, a lot of basil, which actually you don't have to chop it up, just chunks, chunk of that one, add a little water for them, 
The pasta is almost done. Okay, so I, I'm mixing a little bit more. Reduce just a little bit, a couple of seconds. And I like to add a little bit Italian peppers to that one, just a little bit. It depends on how you like it. If you like it more spicy, you can do much spicier. So I just a little bit to give it a kick. And you can see it in the dirt. And uh, you don't need to salt because the sausage is already salted. On the bottom, it gives you also saltiness. So you don't need to do anything really salt -based. Now you can put a little bit. Uh, I can put a little bit other stuff more inside. But first the Provence you can put if you have. You know, I have to, I like to use a little bit. Okay, that's come down. That's come down. Um, now it's done. The pasta is cooked. My fettuccine is cooked. I take it out straight from the salted water, cooked al dente, and put it in a bowl. Put a little bit of decoration on top, a little basil, fresh basil. You can put, if you like, you can put fresh Parmesan cheese too, but I don't think so, you need it. So here is my final dish. Uh, Italian sausage with peppers, tomato, garlic, onion, and linguine. Hopefully you enjoyed the recipe. See you next time.